the bulk of the answer. Limerick or Kilkenny, All-Ireland champions of 1973. Kilkenny, the holders in the black and amber vertical stripes and the green of Limerick, the challengers. Limerick back after 33 years in the wilderness. Everything ready now as Mick Scattery gets ready to throw in the ball. And I'll say one thing, one of the fittest men in the field today, the referee, Mick Slattery, who will cover as much ground as any ten men on this field. Ready now for the start. A signal to his umpires who are helping him with the timing, and there's a throw in, and the ball goes right through. Frank Cummins, and there's an early knock as Liam O'Brien gets a knock, and here's Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney fouled in the early moments. And Liam O'Brien for Kilkenny is down in the very first five seconds of the game. And uh, nobody to take the free for Kilkenny. Pat Henderson coming up to take it now. Just 50 yards out from the Limerick goal. Liam O'Brien is all right as Pat bends. Oh, it's a low one. Locked down by Richie Bennis. From 40 yards from his own goal. Mussy Dowling. Out onto the wing now, Frankie Nolan, and it's high and it's over the bar. Frankie Nolan, after less than a minute of play, Limerick one point, Kilkenny no score. Well, somebody said Limerick wanted to settle down quickly. Could you ask for a better service than that? Noel Skeen joined the ball for the puck out. Frank Cummins with it now, loses his stick. Pat Hartigan in now to Mossy Dowling. And the referee penalises Mossy, presumably for carrying the ball too far. 70 yards from his own goal. Or, this, yeah, 70 yards from his own goal, the free to Pat Henderson for Kilkenny. Limerick leading one point to no score for Kilkenny after less than two minutes of play. by Richie Bennis. Pat Lawler for Kilkenny coming out now. Bernie Hartigan after him. Bernie out to the far wing. Nemo Donahue getting it upfield. Brian Cody now, the tall ex minor fouled in possession and there's a free for Kilkenny. Nobody seems too sure who's going to take it. It's Phil Cullen. One of the Bennett's bridge men on the Kilkenny team. Richie Bennett bringing it down again. Liam O'Brien, however, for Kilkenny getting it. And now to Pat Broderick. A lovely lobbing ball into the goal mouth. Jim O'Brien breaks it down for Limerick. Not a very long clearance. Pat Broderick again. Eamon Grimes in there. Emo Donahoe. Now it's Frank Cummins for Kilkenny. Up along the wing. And going on through with the ball now. Mick Crotty is fouled. And there is a free in. A free in for Kilkenny from just outside the 21 yard line. And Claus Dunn. Not Eddie Kerr, of course, who is absent because of an injury. Claus Dunn to take it. Claw sends it high and sends it over for the equaliser. Almost four minutes gone. Kilkenny one point, Limerick one point. Claw's done, who's taken over the mantle. And what a mantle to take of Eddie Kerr as free taker. Seamus Hogan's puck up. Eamon Grimes. Joe McKenna. Mossy Dowling, Limerick trying to play the wings to keep Kilkenny moving. Nemo Donahue moving out to this one. Back to Richie Bennett. Ned Ray lets it run back in. Van Larkin is there. And Little Van with a big heart coming out. Richie Bennett. Pat Henderson and the referee penalises Richie for touching the ball on the ground.
Todd Henderson's free. Eamon Cregan bringing the ball down for Limerick. Mossy Dowling again, tipping it over, but the referee penalises Pat Henderson. The referee not standing for any pushing at all or anything like that. A free to Limerick to be taken by Sean Foley from exactly the 70-yard line. Very high and wide. And the score remains to Kenny one point, Limerick one point. Five minutes gone, first half. Noel Skeen with the puck out. And Cummins getting it into Liam O'Brien. Coming in is Sean Foley for Limerick, and here comes Sean. He was going to go solo, decided to get rid of the ball instead. Frankie Nolan going up for it. Ball down to Pat Henderson. Close down in possession now. Coming up field for Kilkenny. Oh, a lovely shot right into the goal mouth. Pushed out some way. Referee penalises Pat Hartigan. Penalises Pat Hartigan there for a foul on Mick Brennan and there's a free in for Kilkenny. Close down to take it. On the 21-yard line. And close, I'm sure, will go for a point. He does and he gets it, straight over the bar. Two points for Kilkenny, two points for close down. Six minutes gone, Limerick one point. Fuck out by Pat Hartigan for Limerick. Eamon Grimes, who chased and beaten by Frank Cummins. Coming in to help with close down, but Eamon gets it now to Sean Foley. Foley way up along the left wing. Joe McKenna gets up for it. Gone back there, Phil Cullen has come across on the far side. Now Eamon Grimes has it. 60 yards out. A high ball that's dropping into the goal mouth. Ned Ray tipping it across the goal. Van Larkin is there. But the referee has blown his whistle and awards a free in to Limerick dead straight in front of the goal. And Richie. Cool as an iceberg, Dennis to take it. No doubt whatever, straight over the bar, the equaliser again, Richie Dennis the scorer, and that makes it two points for Kilkenny and two points for, for Limerick after about, uh, well, seven and a half minutes of play. Richie Dennis the scorer of that one. Eamon Cregan, out now towards Joe McKenna. Joe lets it up further up the field. Ned Ray right across the far side of the field. And Limerick playing the wings all the time. Limo Dunahoo getting there ahead of his man, and his man is Brian Cody. Limo Dunahoo into the center. Ball knocked down very nicely by Pat Lawler to Pat Henderson. And now the man with the cap, the beard, and the glasses. Out on the far side, Pat Broderick. Bringing that one, or did he bring it over the line, or... Yes, he did. He brought it over the sideline, and there is a line ball for Limerick. Richie Bennis to take it. Up now to Eamon Grimes, the roving Eamon, from a very awkward angle, high and over the bar! Eamon Grimes moving up as an additional attacker there, taking that ball and sending it over from an awkward angle to make it Limerick three points, Kilkenny two, after eight and a half minutes of play. Holstein's puck out to the centre of the field. Richie Pennis out on the wing. Up towards Frankie Nolan, going back to cover up for Kilkenny is Pat Henderson. And the referee penalises Limerick for a foul on Pat Henderson, a foul that robbed him of his hurdle, I would say. And the free is 50 yards out from the... Is it 50 or is it 60? Pat Henderson says 60, the referee says 50, and I believe the referee. Well, 50 and a bit. 
Pat Henderson to take it out near the sideline. Pat Broderick and Bill Bennis together. Pat Broderick gets a lovely shot in towards the goal. Mick Lawler getting his hand down to it. In the middle of it is Eamon Cregan. He can't hold his feet. The referee blows his whistle and awards a free out to Limerick. Free out to Limerick from about their own 21. The score, Limerick three points, Kilkenny two, and about nine minutes gone in the first half. Pat Hartigan. Very, very high one indeed. Pat Henderson putting his hand up. Brave man that he is. And he was tapped down as he was coming out and referee Mick Scattery sees it and awards a free out to Kilkenny. 50 yards out from his own goal, Pat Henderson. Mick Lawler gone out there. Pulled on and cleared well off the field by Eamon Cregan. Massey Dowling. Joe McKenna. Oh, a lovely, raking, piercing shot in towards the goal. Ned Ray pulls on at the referee. Gone right down there too, but Noel Skeen is there with the ball. And Noel comes out with that ball and clears it out to the far side of the field where it goes to Frank Cummins. Frank Cummins has moved over on Richie Bennis, I notice. He gets it up to Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney on his own 50. A high ball that's gone to the left and it's gone wide. A lot of the Kilkenny supporters thought it was going in the right direction for them. It wasn't. It went wide. And Pat not yet in the game with those penetrating moves of his. Fuck out by Pat Hartigan. Richie Bennis. Coming out for it now is Nicky Orr. Nicky Orr, the ball dropped. But he's there. Out now to Phil Cullen. Phil Cullen. Inside his own 50. To Frank Cummins, inside his own 70. Frank without the hurley again, but pounds it very nicely to Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien in towards the goal. Mick Lawler going up for it, gets into his hand. A shot that's high, but it's gone. Yes, it's over the bar, it's over the bar. Over the bar for a point. Uh, Mick Brennan, I should say, I think I called him Mick Lawler. Mick Brennan getting that one and sending it over to make the score three points each. 12 minutes gone and the sides are level. Into the centre of the field. What's he done? Joe McKenna. Frankie Nolan. Ned Ray hold, trying to hold on to the ball for the forwards to come in to help him. He's got into his hand. He's shot and it's over the bar. Ned Ray, the full forward. First of all, holding onto the ball as if he was waiting for somebody to come in that he could get it out to. He saw that wasn't going to work, got it up into his hand and sent it over the bar. The score, four points to three in favour of Limerick and the time, almost 13 minutes of the first half. Step by step they go, Eamon Craven. Van Larkin, head down, ball into his chest. Out to Brian Cody, Brian Hoop. Ossie Dowling after Brian Cody. Brian Cody in now to Pat Delaney. Pat can't get it up, but won't come up to him. Out to the far wing, and Pat Broderick doesn't quite get to it. The ball gone over the line, and it is a line ball for Limerick, about 40 yards out from their own goal, over on the far side of the pitch. And it's about to be taken by Willie Moore. Oh, a very short one. Pat Broderick had a lovely pass to Mick Brennan. And here he goes right through now. He's on the 14. A shot, and it's gone wide. Oh, a sizzler right across the goal. Seamus Horgan diving for it, but it went just to the right of the upright and wide. Score remains. Limerick 4, Kilkenny 3. The rain remains, the caps remain, the umbrellas remain, and the newspapers as headgear also remain. And Pat Hartigan remains to put the ball out. Frank Cummins, Bill Bennis hooking and been hooked in return by Pat Broderick. This is Sean Foley. Ball as if stuck to his hurley. Now up to the wing to Joe McKenna. Joe getting up and bringing it down. He takes his shot and it's over the bar.
Joe McKenna, this lithe lad with a great reach and plenty of use of himself, stretching Limerick's lead to five points to three after 14 and a half minutes of play. Nolski. Ball comes up now where Eamon Creedon gets it. Frank Cummins to Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien is tripped as he's about to go on a solo run and he gets a free. 60 yards out from the Limerick goal. Ball being pushed out a little bit by Jim Lynch. Back in is Phil Bennis is in there in the middle of it all. Out to Sean Foley. John Foley well upfield. Pat Lawler racing in now for Kilkenny. Eamon Cregan and the gamble of putting Eamon at centre half back is certainly paying off up to now. 50 yards out from his own goal to Bernie Hartigan. Bernie using his weight to draw away there. The opponent gets the ball in to Joe McKenna, but his shot has gone wide. Joe McKenna, who seems to be everywhere, particularly up in the air today. Noel Skeen out to the far side, and once again, the hands go up. The Bennis brothers are in there. So also is Pat Delaney for Kilkenny. Now it's Liam O'Brien for Kilkenny. Liam a low one, which, Lee, which Sean Foley brings up, and now Sean all in his own, 70 yards from his own goal. Out towards the left wing. Nicky O with it now for Kilkenny. Thundering his way out there. Brian Cody for Kilkenny. Sean Foley, first timing for Limerick. And now it's Pat Lawler. Sean Foley and Saul Stun pulling together. Ball up now to Mick Crotty. Crotty across now to the far side. Ball breaks down, down back to cover up is Eamon Cregan and it's difficult to keep your feet out there. The referee penalises Jim Lynch for a little bit of holding and there's a free out for Limerick. Pat Hardigan to take it outside his own 21. And this nasty drizzle is still tumbling down. Pat Delaney now with the ball. Richie Bennis. Three or four yards behind him. Jim O'Brien now. Bernie Hartigan. Eamon Grimes. Pat Lawler now for Kilkenny. Breaking up the attack. Eamon Cregan coolly in under that ball. Trying to trap it into his hand. But it's Pat Delaney who gets it. And here's Pat going up field with the ball. And he's fouled in transit. He's going on. Don't worry, Pat. I'm sure you heard it, but the whistle's gone. And Pat, flu bug or no flu bug, sent that one way over the bar, but of course the whistle had gone from way, way back, about 30 yards back, and the free in for Kilkenny would be taken by Klaus Dunn. Oh, a dangerous ball. Blocked down by Eamon Cregan. Passing it out to Sean Foley, who's waiting for it. To Eamon Grimes, who pulls on it. Oh, lovely piece of hurling here. Van Larkin battling hard to get inside Bernie Hartigan now. Bernie with the ball. Right across the goal mouth. Ned Ray going out for it. He gets it, but Nicky Orr is there. Robs him, and Nicky is puck blocked down by the incoming forward there up on the uh, right. Frankie Nolan, the ball gone wide. Old skiing with the puck out for Kilkenny. Richie Bennis, low one up along the wing. Frankie Nolan not getting it. Bill Cullen getting it for Kilkenny. Once again, Frank Cummins opening up an attack. Willie Moore and Mick Brennan. Nick Brennan with it now going on. He's on the 21 and the 14. He's still going on. His way is blocked now and he is fouled as he goes on. And there is, or is he? The referee going in to check. No, not to check, but to warn, just to 
hum a word to one of the backs there, to Willie Moore, to say, uh, take it easy, boy. And uh, there's a free in for Kilkenny. It's all stunned to take it. Coming up now to the 20th minute. And it's a low one, blocked down, another effort, and here comes Pat Gatto! Pat Delaney! Pat Delaney, the scorer, 20 minutes gone. Kilkenny lead, 1-3 to Limerick's five points. The ball going hither and thither in front of the goal, and Pat then belting it and burying it in the back of the net. And Kilkenny lead now by one point after 20 minutes of play. Ryan Cody. Ball tapped down, close done in under it. Eamon Grimes after him, still close done. Pat Broderick and Phil Bennett. Ball comes out now to Liam O'Brien. Coming out here, Sean Foley and Pat Delaney. And out there too is Mick Crotty. Crotty gets the ball in towards the goal mouth. And there's a battle of the mighty men in there. The referee has blown his whistle and has awarded a free. And it is a free against Pat Hartigan for holding Jim Lynch. Lost on to take him. Bending over it now. And so far, Klaus has been a very good man indeed at these frees, having got two. And that makes it three over the bar. Another point for Klaus Dunn and another point for Kilkenny. Making the score now with Kilkenny the leaders. One goal and four points. That's seven points to Limerick's five points after, what is it, almost 22 minutes of play. But Hardigan's puck out into the center of the field. Flash of the ash there. Eamon Grimes with a switch in the Limerick team. Mossy Darling on top of the left and Joe McKenna on centre half forward. This is Pat Lawler. Liam O'Brien. That goal has certainly put life into Kilkenny and it's also brought Limerick back in the hunt again too because Bernie Hartigan is opening up the play. Bill Cullen trying to bring it out. Bernie getting it in. Joe McKenna. Out now to Frankie Nolan. Frankie Nolan on the right. A high one that's high and it is. Now it's hit the post. Hit the post. It's amazing how often that happens. Van Larkin. Out to the waiting, Liam O'Brien. Jim O'Brien for Limerick bringing the ball down. And Eamon Cregan pulling hard on the ball there. Goes off the man. It is a line ball for Kilkenny. 60 yards out from the Limerick goal. Liam O'Brien coming across to take the line ball. Look down in under where we... Look down through the camera eye and it's Sean Foley into the centre where all alone Pat Lawler and Kate Kenny have taken over at this particular moment. Ball going hither and thither, but the ones that are chasing it are the boyers of the black and amber. That wasn't a very good shot, Pat the lady, and it went wide. The Kenny leading by two points, seven points to five. That's one four to five points. Henderson now with the ball. 70 yards out from the Limerick goal. Jim O'Brien trying to get it up, eventually succeeding. Intended pass intercepted. And another pass intercepted there. Eamon Cregan tripped and a free out. The rosin is very popular today. You can see a man running in with a little plastic container giving a rub of rosin to various players so that they can grip that hurley better in the greasy conditions that prevail today. This is Eamon Grimes coming out now on the wing. Been chased by Pat Lawler. Eamon High. But it's brought down by Ned Ray. Ned Ray coming out now to make an angle for himself or somebody out to the far side. Now Frankie Dolan keeping it in play. Frankie is fouled and there's a free in for Limerick. Three in for Limerick and Richie Bennis is going to take it in the Munster final. Richie tried for goals early on. It didn't work. 
Is he going to try for one here? No, he's satisfied with the point. It's over the bar. Richie Bennis, the scorer, and that's his second point of the game. And that makes the score after 24 and a half minutes of play. Limerick trailing. Limerick with six points. Kilkenny, one goal and four. One goal and four. That's seven points for Kilkenny. Six points for Limerick. This is Pat Delaney now. Pat to after a very dull early stages has really come into the game now the ball allowed Hop back in over the big men Jim Lynch and uh, Pat Hartigan John Foley to Eamon Cregan who's having one blinder in that centre half forward position Frankie Nolan trying to break away is held and there's a free for Limbo Richie Bennis to take it 50 yards out Can this be the equaliser again? The answer is yes. Over the bar, Richie Venice, the scorer. That's three points for Richie. And the sides level at seven points each, or if you prefer, Kilkenny, one goal and four. Limerick, seven points. And the stopwatch, almost 26 minutes of the first half. Lost on. Frank Commons. Knocked down by Richie Bennis. Richie got an advantage with the fumbling there. Well in toward the goal. Ned Ray again with uh, Nicky Orr. And it's Nolski. Nolski in one of these confident clearances of his. Eamon Grimes, Bernie Hartigan. Nobody up inside now. John Foley. Bernie Hartigan and Pat Henderson. Pat Henderson getting it out. Eamon Grimes now. Frank Cummins is after him. But nobody up there on the left except the Kilkenny man and what a great little one he is. Van Larkin. And Eamon, Eamon Freeman truly having a brilliant game. Referee gives him the advantage. Gets the ball up now to Joe McKenna. Joe McKenna. A high ball that's curling but not curling enough for Limerick and it's gone wide. Joe McKenna moved out into the half-forward position, centre half-forward with Mossy Dowling on top of the left. Noel Skeen with the puck out. Referee penalises Kilkenny for a bit of pushing there and Richie Fenn, 70 yards out, is going to take the free. Run out of it to the left, Mossy Dowling Trying to keep it in play. Van Larkin is fouled and there is a free. Free for Limerick. Van Larkin did the fouling there. Wasn't fouled. He was the fouler. A free to Limerick. And Richie Bennis to take it. And Limerick lead again as he sends it over. After 28 minutes of play, Richie Bennis, the last three scores of the game, scored by him. Richie putting Limerick ahead, eight points to Kilkenny's one goal and four after almost 29 minutes of play. Into the centre of the field. John Foley. Eamon Grimes. And now it's Limerick who are going great guns. Frankie Nolan going way upfield. Nipping in there, Pat Lawler. Richie Bennis gone out there. Pat Broderick gone out there too, but Richie's got his hand to the ball. Nicely tapped down by Liam O'Brien. To Mick Trotty has come out right half forward. Thorston, top of the right for Kilkenny. Jim O'Brien, left full back for Limerick in possession, and now in the centre of the field. A long, raking, relieving clearance. Ball comes out off. A stick there that may have been Nicky Orr's or it may have been Ned Ray's but it came out to Pat Henderson and Pat is beaten this time but Pat Lawler isn't. Pat Lawler up this side of the field. Pat Delaney under it. Eamon Cregan gets it. Liam O'Brien is there. And there's Liam with his ball stuck to the top of the hurdle. He's solo and he's hooked as he's going to hit the ball. 
by the non-stop Eamon Grimes who gets it to the other Eamon, Cregan, to Bernie Hartigan with the ball blocked down. Bernie does get his stick to it. Bill Cullen. Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney being chased now by Sean Foley. Still Pat Delaney. Pat out now and on the right wing to Liam O'Brien. Coming across is Eamon Cregan. Eamon Grimes is there. Liam O'Brien still there. Into Mick Crotty. Crotty has it now 30 yards out. High. And it is gone. Over the bar for a point. And the sides are level for the fifth time in the game. Crotty the scorer of that one. 30 minutes gone in the first half. And Gilkenny are one goal and five points. That is eight points. And Limerick are eight points. Five times they've been level. And never, I think, more than a point or two between them. Pat Hartigan's puck out to Brother Bernie. Intended anyway, but Pat Lawler is penalised for pushing Bernie in the back, and there's a free for Limerick. Richie, the sharpshooter, Bennis to take it. sharp shooter this man is Richie Bennis the scorer his fifth point of the game and the score now Limerick nine points Kilkenny one goal and five Limerick leading by one point 31 minutes gone and here's Frank Cummins 70 yards out in towards the goal the battle of the big fellas again but the ball goes back in and a little bit of shakiness there as Pat Hartigan in his well there's a free in the ball has gone out for a 70 but I think the referee has awarded a no he hasn't he just had his hand up there calling for the ball uh, Pat Hartigan making sure that Jim Lynch didn't get the ball let it go back towards Seamus Horgan I don't think Seamus was sure it was coming and it went off his stick out over for a 70 and told Pat Henderson to take it Dropped down by Richie Bennett. Out to Sean Foley, who's over on the far wing now. Up it goes to Liam O'Donoghue. In it goes to Joe McKenna. From 70 yards from his own goal. Way down the field. Ned Ray is under it. Nicky Orr has it now. Nicky Orr and Mossy Dowling. Nicky Orr with the hurley has the advantage. He hasn't got the ball, however. Mossy Dowling up to Liam O'Donoghue. Out there too is Brian Cody. Brian Cody trying to get out of the can. The ball comes in now to Joe McKenna. Joe McKenna coming across into the center. It's high and it is wide. What a lovely bit of hurling that was. That ball coming way up the field with a series of nicely placed passes, but it all came to naught as the ball went wide. And the score remains. Limerick nine points. Kilkenny one goal and five. Nine points to eight. Frank Cummins. Still Frank Cummins going up field, being chased now by Richie Bennis, or by Phil Bennis. And Frank again without the hurley across to Mick Crotty. Out comes Jim O'Brien. Crotty is shot it over the bar. Over the bar and a little bit of uh, shouldering between Willie Moore and Mick Brennan there, but uh, all is well. The score is level again at nine points each and that makes one six to nine points if you like one six for Kilkenny and about uh, 34 minutes or so gone this is Lemo Donahue Ned Ray trying to keep it in play he can't he's fouled and there is a free in Ned Ray who is playing a very fine game not only in his own right but distributing the ball to his forwards pushed and, uh, well, shall we say he didn't get up too quickly, not that there was anything wrong with him. There's the Kilkenny defence, and here is the man who's going to take the free, Richie Bennis. 21-yard line. Here it is now. And he's satisfied to tap it over the bar for the lead for Limerick again. After almost 35 minutes of play, Limerick one goal, or Limerick correction, 10 points, Kilkenny one goal and six, 
and six of those ten points were scored by Richie Bennis and all off screens. No screen to Frank Commons. Coming in now Brian Cody. Brian out to this side of the field. Sauce Dunn and Jim O'Brien going for it together. Sean Foley coming in. Nick Trotty after him. Sean Foley up now to Eamon Bryan. Jim O'Brien, the ball crawling up his back there. Eamon Bryan, but Jim O'Brien is still after him. How lovely bit of wholehearted hurling by Pat Henderson. But it's Richie Bennis now for Limerick. Down through the centre. Ned Ray with the ball in his hand. A shot at the point. Ned Ray, what a wonderful game he's having for Limerick at full forward. Limerick 11 points, Kilkenny 1 goal and 6, 2 points between them and less than 5 minutes left in the first half. Bill Bennis and Pat Broderick. Pat Lawler all alone. And here come Kilkenny attacking again. These short passes of Limerick, the way they always seem to find a Limerick man. Frankie Nolan, and they're trying this low one into Ned Ray again, but he slipped and he's recovered. He's beaten two Kenny men. He's got it in front of the goal, but Nolski it is there. The great Noel coming out now with the ball stuck in his hurley. And here he comes with one of these great Nolski and clearances. Two players down injured, down on our left here. And one of them is Massey Dowling, the other is Noel Skeen. And the referee is writing uh, Massey Dowling's name in his book. And telling him no back pulling. There was a bit of back pulling as the ball was gone there. Back pulling which involved Noel Skeen who is limping away there. Limerick men appealing that Noel was also a culprit, but the referee very adamant that, in fact, it was Mussy Dowling who did the back pulling. Liam O'Brien with the Kilkenny free. Into the goal mode, Seamus Horgan, well protected by his backs, and getting the ball out, but bringing it out, still bringing it out. Close done. And the referee penalising the Limerick backs for holding and there's a free in for Kilkenny. We're in the closing moments of the first half. Thor's done to take the free. About ten yards in from the far sideline. It's high and it is over the bar for a point for Kilkenny scored by Thor's done. And if Eddie Kerr can send them over from Freeze, so too can Claus Dunn. Four points from Freeze by Claus Dunn. The score, Limerick 11 points, Kilkenny one goal and seven. And we make it just over two minutes left in this first half. Bernie Hartigan. Joe McKenna going on to it, but beaten by Bill Cullen, who ran into Joe over there. And this is Eamon Grimes. Pat Broderick coming down after him. Pat getting the ball, but where does it go? But Eamon Cregan. Intending to feed the left wing, but the man who's taking the feeding is an opponent, Pat Lawler. Pat Broderick. Bill Bennett snipping in here now. And this is Liam O'Brien with that dangerous lobbing ball. It's, ooh, dangerous is right, but it did go wide. About a minute left in this first half. One point between them. Limerick leading by this one point, 11 points to 10. 11 points to 1-7. This is Brian Cody trying to shake off Liam O'Donoghue. Succeeding. And the referee calling for the ball and awarding a free to Limerick. Liam catching the ball twice as he went up the field there. And 
Richie Bennis to take a free. You can see just outside the 70 yard line. And when Richie comes up to take a free, no matter where it is, you begin to wonder is it going over the bar? It's knocked down by Noel Skeen. Pat Henderson, Eamon Grimes, and it's over the bar by Eamon Grimes. Eamon looking a little bit disgusted that he didn't bury it in the back of the net, but with a man like Noel Skeen in there, you can't I really think you're going to do that too often. Limerick, 12 points, and that's the proof. No goal, 12 points. Kilkenny, one goal and seven. And we're at the halfway stage. Coming up now to the halftime whistle as Pat Broderick almost gets the ball from the puck out, doesn't. Bernie Hartigan to Eamon Grimes. Eamon from 70 yards out. And Ned Ray doesn't keep it in play. It goes wide. Referee looking at his watch checking down to one of his umpires who has given him the signal that the half time has come and when this ball is pucked out we will have the half time whistle and there it is the half time whistle and so at half time in a closely contested game Limerick lead by 12 points to Kilkenny's one goal and seven 12 points to one goal and seven and the crowd showing their appreciation of the hurling that these men have served up in atrocious weather conditions. Jim Lynch is in there full forward. We'll check who's gone off as the game goes on. Kieran Purcell, top of the left. And by the way, we understand that those people who are looking at this game, the second half is on. And from the throw in, stalemate in the center of the field, Bernie Hartigan who has gone centre field for Limerick with Eamon Grimes left half forward. Willie Moore out to the far side. Gone out now on the far side, getting the ball, and uh, is uh, Mick Brennan. It's Pat Broderick who's gone off, the spectacular Pat Broderick who's gone off the Kilkenny team. And now, Mick Brennan has gone down on the far side of the field and the referee going down to consult his umpires down behind the goal as to what happened. This happened when there was no ball there. Referee now going over to the linesman because it appears that the umpires didn't see what happened. Referee consulting his linesman and well, whatever happened, nobody seems to have seen an awful lot. Way off the board. Anyway, cost on to take the free for Kilkenny. And send it in and blocked down by Seamus Horgan. In towards the goal. Brought out by Phil Bennis. Off he's sticking over the line for a 70. And Brian Cody is going to take it. Brian Cody going across from the left half back position to take it. And the 19 year old Brian. Just placing the ball now for this important puck. It's high in towards the goal. And the referee blows his whistle for a foul on Big Brennan. Three in for Kilkenny, dead straight in front of the goal. Klaus done to take it. And Klaus hasn't missed one today. Here he comes now on the 21 yard line. checking that the players are far enough back from him and he sends it high and over the bar a point for Klaus done his fifth of the game narrowing the gap now to just one point Klaus trying to rally his men there and the time just over two minutes of the second half and the score now is Liberty 12 points to Kenny one goal and eight 12 points to 11 under the dropping ball Frank Cummins Nemo Donahoe penalised for chopping. Nemo Donahoe penalised for chopping and a free out to Kilkenny. Free to be taken by Brian Cody. Still going up and now it's Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney with Eamon Grimes after him. Still Pat Delaney. Trying one of his solos. And Eamon after him. Forces him to take a shot a little bit 
off balance and the ball goes wide. Those people who may be looking at this game on closed circuit in New York, we understand that somewhere along the line across the Atlantic out of this country, you lost picture for a while. We're sorry about that, but uh, don't put the blame over here altogether. Here comes the ball into the center of the field. Pat Lawler, Nemo Donahoe, Nemo Bryan now. Up inside him is Frank Cummins. Frank Cummins. With a long attacking ball. And Sean Foley gets his hand up to it. Sean Foley having a brilliant game. He doesn't have to use his hurley, apparently. He can kick just as well. Eamon Grimes and Pat Lauder. The ball out over the sideline. Line ball for Kilkenny. Halfway line. Pat Lauder to take the puck. Pat Delaney, Eamon Cregan trying to get after him, but Pat's still on his way. Oh, a low testing shot that's gone into it, Big Crotty. This is Willie Moore, and this is Sean Foley. The intended pass there, they didn't go where it was intended. Liam O'Brien coming back. Liam O'Brien high and over the bar, and the sides are level again. Liam O'Brien going up along that right wing to make it 12 points each. Kilkenny 1-9, Limerick 12 points, just over five minutes gone in the second half. Pat Henderson, and now Frank Cummins, being chased by Liam O'Donoghue. Still Frank Cummins, and still Frank Cummins. Jim O'Brien trying to block it down, the ball is now a great save! A great, it is a point, but a great save! Mick Crotty passed the ball in as if it must go past Seamus Horgan, but he deflected it over the bar. Oh, a wonderful, wonderful save, that point. He did get a point, but it looked as if it must be a goal. Seamus Horgan saving brilliantly there. And now Kilkenny lead, 110 to 12 points after six minutes of the second half. Never more than two points between the teams, and they've been seven times level. This is Joe McKenna. And that is why. And Ned Ray has gone down with an injury to his shoulder, and I think he has injured his shoulder off the upright that holds the netting behind the goal. I saw Paul O'Donoghue of Kerry uh, hurt himself off that before a football game, and now Ned Ray has done a little bit the same. And listen to that chant, Limerick, Limerick, from the Limerick followers. They know their team trailing now by one point. Ned Ray and rolling over down there seems to have changed his hurley as well as uh, sustaining that injured shoulder, but he's all right. Pat Delaney coming very much into the game now. Eamon Cregan after him. Eamon Grimes after him. Eamon Grimes robs him. And now it's, it's Richie Bennett. Richie trying to get the ball up. He's about to be caught by Liam O'Brien. But he knows it. And if Liam O'Brien can solo with the ball stuck in his hurt, he so too can Richie Bennett. Oh, the absolute goal of the man. And I mean that in the kindest possible way. Fouled in transit. A lovely piece of solo hurling by Richie Bennett. Here could this be the equaliser for the eighth time? Yes, it could, and yes, it is! <laughs> Richie Bennis making them level. Kilkenny won 10. Limerick 13 points, and Richie Bennis has scored seven points of that Limerick total, all from free. Nemo Donahue for Limerick. Being chased now by Pat Henderson. Into the centre to Frankie Dolan. Frankie Dolan on the 21, on the 14. A shot, and it's blocked down. Noel Steen is bottled into the goal. The ball is in the net, but yes, it's a goal. It's went now. It's the referee has gone up. The ball is in the net. I don't know who scored it. The whole forward line seemed to get it in. Referee has consulted his umpires. It's a goal for Limerick. And I... The net... Ned Ray was in there, 
and Mussey Dowling was in there. They were all in there. And the score now is Limerick, one goal and 13. Kilkenny, one goal and 10. Nine minutes gone in the second half. Stalemate. Broken by Bernie Hartigan. And the confidence that a score could bring. And the lovely hooking by Pat Lawler. Eamon Grimes getting this, and another lovely bit of hooking by Pat Lawler. But he still can't recover the ball. And it's back to Bernie Hartigan. And it's another point for Limerick. The score, Limerick 114, to Kenny 110. And what, nine and a half minutes gone in the second half. 17 points to 13. Goals gain out into the centre of the field. It's Liam O'Donoghue. Lamp, rampant Limerick now. In two. Where Nolskeen has started into the goal. But no, no, no. No goal, no goal, no goal. Referee dramatically out in the centre of the field. Pointing out as Nolskeen was fouled in possession there. Bundled into the back of the net. Bulldozed into the back of the net. Might be a better description. And Noel is still on the ground about to pick himself up any moment but the ambulance men in attending to him but uh, I think he's more winded than anything else as Van Larken prepares to take the free out Brian Cody and Eamon Cregan out now, oh, a short pass that went astray, and Mick Brennan moved out to the half forward and has the ball now into the centre to Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney, his way blocked by Jim O'Brien. There's a free in for Kilkenny. A free in to Kilkenny. Four points between them, Limerick leading. This is the biggest gap that has been between the teams. But an awful lot of people are thinking of a year ago when Kilkenny looked in bigger trouble than they are now, and yet they wound up the champions. Claus Dunn to take the free. Referee putting the players back. Claus now standing over it. And it is over the bar for a point for Kilkenny, narrowing that gap to three points. Claus Dunn, the scorer. Claus, who has not missed a free today, he scored six points of that total of Kilkenny. The score, Limerick 114. Kilkenny 111 and it is almost 12 minutes gone just over 11 between 11 and 12 long puck out Richie Bennis Frank Cummins after him beats him to the ball Phil Bennis and trusting with him Claus Dunn waiting for a pass to Cairden Purcell it won't come his way he gets the ball out from the scrummage there he is Shouldered off the ball by Eamon Cregan. And Eamon Cregan, king of Limerick for the moment anyway, sends the ball up the field. Phil Cullen brings it down. Eamon Grimes comes racing across. Eamon steadies, shoots and sends it into the goal mouth where it goes into the chest of the waiting Noel Skeen. And Noel, with all the confidence in the world, taps the ball out to the waiting Pat Lawler. And Pat coming downfield with it now for Kilkenny. Into the centre, but it's Richie Bennis again. He's going to tip, no he's not, I was going to say he's going to tip it back. He didn't bother, he decides to go up himself. He takes his shot, it's a hopping dangerous ball that's deflected out to this side. Van Larkin after it, but the referee has thrown his whistle and awards a free to Limerick. Free to Limerick for holding there, holding the forwards. And Croke Park is alive at this moment, alive with the vibration of excitement. We have a long, long way to go in this game, yet thanks to the heavens. Richie Bennis to take the free. 21-yard line, out in front of the goal, and look at the way he's standing. Up he comes, and here it goes. He tries for the goal. It's blocked down. It's Leo Donahue is in. It's booted out. It comes out this side of the field. Frank Cummins holds the ball on the ground, tries to get it away. The referee has blown his whistle free out to Kilkenny. Whether Richie Bennett should have taken a free, a point from that one or not, well, we'll know the answer to that one at the end of the 40th minute. Phil Cullen, Frank Cummins. Sean Foley in under with Martin, now with Mick Brennan. 
Bill Bennett scooping, kicking, rooting. Jordan Purcell likewise. Mick Trotty with it now. Puck knocked down by Phil Bennett. Jim O'Brien is there out to this side of the field. All lovely, confident hold in there by Brian Cody. Out to Phil Cullen, coming up to help him. Referee penalises Limerick for holding there, and Phil not hearing the ball, apparently, belting the ball away up the field. 3-2 to, uh, to Kilkenny. 60 yards out from their own goal. 10 yards in from the near sideline. And it's Pat Henderson who's going to take it. Out to the left wing. Robbing ball by Claus Dunn. They're right into the goal by Seamus Horgan. Is upended as he goes up with confidence with that ball. And as a... I don't think he's seriously, I don't think he's hurt at all, in fact. And uh, a little bit of uh, lost composure, shall we say. Almost lost standing there. A free out for Limerick as Seamus Hogan was upended. And there's a free out for Limerick. Pat Hartigan to take it. Pat Lawler. Being chased by Eamon Grimes. Eamon Grimes being beaten by Pat Delaney. Racing across Eamon Cregan. Referee penalises. Yes, penalises Mick Brennan for a very obvious push in the back. And there's some switches coming off now in the Limerick team as Pat Hartigan gets the ball out. To Bernie Hartigan. Oh, a high ball by Bernie, out to the right wing. And Ned Ray keeps it in play. That's <laughs> right across the goal, and it comes out to Frank Cummins. Claude Dunn, up to Kearden Purcell, who hasn't really got into the game since he came on. Clearance by Willie Moore going very near the sideline. Pat Delaney in possession is fouled, and there's a free for Kilkenny. And Liam O'Donoghue seemed to get a knock there. He ran into Pat Delaney. Brian Cody to take the free. Just inside the Limerick 70. The hand that reached up was Jim O'Brien's that almost held on to it. Phil Ben is trying to root it out. This is Mick Brennan going through. Spun around in possession and a free in for Kilkenny. Kenny leading by three points, a free on the 21-yard line. Correction, Limerick leading by three points. I think I said Kilkenny leading by three points. Limerick leading by three points. Lost done, right over the ball. Paddy Grace behind the goal, giving him a signal to go for a point. And he goes for the point. Over the bar, a point for Kilkenny. And now there are only two points between them. And... About 17 minutes gone in the second half. The score, Limerick 114 and Kilkenny 112. Pat Hartigan's puck out. Frank Cummins. Bill Bennett. Limo Donahue. Richie Bennett. 70 yards out. High ball towards the goal mouth. And Ned Ray on the ground. Referee running up, awarding a free in. He may well have been pushed, but he certainly is a very fine diver. Free in, Richie Bennis to take it. Will this stretch it to three points again? Will he be satisfied with a point? Will he go for a goal? Here he comes. Over the bar, over the bar, over the net, almost over the wall at the back of Grove Park. And that makes the score now. The Limerick men, one goal and 15. Kilkenny, one goal and 12. And Richie Bennis has scored eight points, all from three. And the ball, net or no net, has been acquired by somebody behind the goal. And with the accuracy that Richie Bennis is shooting, he probably sent it right up to another one of those seven or six brothers of his up in the back of the crowd. And the chant of the crowd once again. 
Nose game with the puck up. Added to by Pat Lawler. First time pulled by Pat Henderson. And this is Phil Ben. Van Larkin getting the ball to where Joe McKenna plays it out of this side of the field. Coming out to it now is Richie Bennett. And Richie's shot is high and Richie's shot is good. His first score from play, his first score from play of a total of nine points and that stretches the Limerick total to 116 to Kilkenny's Kenny's 112. Richie Bennis, and what a hurler. One of seven brothers who play with Patrick Swell. He started off hurling with the vocational school, at least that was his first in the big time, and now he's here today scoring nine points in an All-Ireland final. Frank Cummins, Richie Bennis. Still Richie. Nicely out to Eamon Grimes. Eamon to the... Yes, it is done. Over the bar for a point by Eamon Grimes after a lovely pass from Richie Bennett. And that's Eamon's third point of the game. The score at this stage is Limerick 117 to Kenny 112. And this stage is 20 minutes of the second half. We're halfway through the second half. Five points between them. And this is the biggest gap that there's been between the sides. Sean Foley, and Sean Foley still coming after the ball. Brian Cody goes with him, but it is Frankie Nolan with it. Out on the outside is Liam O'Donoghue, and there's Liam O'Donoghue with the ball. A shot that's blocked down by Pat Henderson. Got by Pat Lawler and cleared. And here comes Kilkenny now, Liam O'Brien, ball stuck to the hurley. John Foley is after him, but he's still going on. Liam O'Brien, 40 yards out, into the centre where McCraddy's got it. McCraddy working his way through to the 21. The shot that's blocked down, it's hooped, in fact. A hooped effort there, and McCraddy does a nice being hooped, or whatever happened down there when they were picking themselves up, Eamon Cregan being the other one. Now, I wonder, after Kenny decided that it's time to have a goal for a goal. Claude Dunn is going to take the free. It's on the 21-yard line, slightly to the right of the goal. I wonder, I wonder, if he's going to have a go. Here he comes. He is. It's low. It's hard. And it's blocked. It's got up in the wing by Mick Brennan. Mick Brennan into the center. The ball deflected in, and it's gone wide. Ball gone wide. And the score remains 20 to 15 in favour of Limerick. That's 117 to 112. The score remains 117 to 112. Centre field, Liam O'Brien. Pat Delaney. So Kenny have decided that a goal is a must at this stage. Eamon Cregan, one of the Limerick greats of the day. Ned Ray lets it hop in past him. Molskian is there. And the referee blows his whistle and awards a free out against the incoming Ned Ray for Kilkenny. And it will be taken from just outside their own parallelogram. Van Larkin to take it. Ball tapped down. Michael Kenny is certainly trying with all their might. Brian Cody. Liam O'Brien has gone right half forward. Mick Brennan has gone centre field. Jim O'Brien from the mid with three to Kenny men around him. To Phil Bennis, who Houdini's around the ball there. A Richie Bennis, of course. Still Richie, and now it's Pat Lawler. And now it is Mick Brennan way up the field with that ball. 
Jim O'Brien has been playing sturdy stuff in the last quarter of an hour, in fact all through the game. Pat Lawler up along the wing for Kilkenny. Sean Foley back to cover up. Leave O'Brien there and the rain still pelting down as there's a line ball for Kilkenny. And it is blocked down and belted way up the field by Bernie Hartigan. The rain, if anything, has got heavier. Mussy Dowling. Ned Ray. And with them, Nicky Orr. Very near the end line. Mossy Dowling coming in with a dangerous one across the goal mouth, but it hops wide. Five points between them. 24 minutes gone, second half. And it's absolutely pelting out of the heavens at the moment. And Frank Cummins is going off the Kilkenny team. On the puck out to this side of the field, Bill Dennis. Pat Delaney, Brian Cody, and it goes off Richie Bennett. I don't know exactly what he said there, but uh, there we are. Frank Cummins has gone off the team. There he is, gone into the dugout. We follow the play as Klaus Dunn gets the ball. And a long added clearance by Eamon Grimes. Mossy Dowling. Intended pass to Joe McKenna, who isn't as much in the game since he moved out into the center half forward position. Out with the uh, Kenny Ben now. We get the sub in a minute, but it's Eamon Grimes. Eamon Grimes going up the field with the ball, sends it high and has sent it wide. And it looks like Billy Hart has come on the Kenny team. Number 21. Up along the wing now. Shortish clearance by Nicky Orr to Van Larkin intended that way. And this is Pat Delaney. Here's Pat Delaney. Soloing upfield now. Pass in now, and here they come again with Klaus Dunn in possession on the 21 of the 14. A low, hard-hopping, dangerous shot. Seamus Horgan scoops it out under pressure for a 70. One of those low-testing balls that could hop anyway in front of a goalkeeper. Seamus Horgan policed it and very wisely got it around the upright for a 70. And as the 70 is taken, referee Mick Slattery down in the 21-yard area, allowing the linesman to place the ball for the... 70, while he goes in to police the dropping ball. Brian Cody, 70. And cleared out by Sean Foley. Pat Lala gone out to it on the far side. This is Pat Henderson for Kilkenny. High ball from Hart goes in, and Horgan lets it go off his chest, and uh, it is a 70. 70 for Kilkenny, who may be trailing by five points, but by heavens are certainly pressing. Once again, the linesman places the ball. And once again, Billy... Brian Cody it is, who sends a short one this time. Very hard. Pat Hartigan, then Pat Delaney has it now. Pat Delaney in front of the goal, a shot and a point. A point by Pat Delaney, narrowing the gap. And that makes it now just four points between them. Pat, who is really playing terrier-like at this stage, 117 to 113, chasing, chasing everything, but somehow not getting through with, uh, well, the effect that he usually does. About, uh, what, about 28 minutes gone, second half. Four points between them. Liam O'Brien. And this is Klaus Dunn. Klaus, a dangerous ball across the goal mouth but it has gone wide. 
referee, I think, saw the full jersey all right, but uh, he's calling for the ball. And is awarding a free to Kilkenny. And this free, another sub coming on, a Limerick sub this time. But uh, free to Kilkenny about 30 yards out, and this free will be taken by Claude Stone. Close, low and hard, knocked down. Jim Lynch trying to get his stick to it, succeeds. John Foley is down there. John Foley way up the field with it, far side of the field. Eamon Grimes, and here comes Eamon. Oh, an intended pass that goes to Pat Henderson. And his intended pass goes to Stray too. Nicky Orr, Ned Ray waiting for the pass back is Mussy Dowling doesn't come back. Van Larkin is in there. Mussy Dowling with it now. Pat Henderson again, the man in the gap. Pat Lawler. Tom Ryan it is, who's on for Limerick. And here's Pat Delaney. Here's Pat Delaney. Four points between them. Pat Delaney working his way through to about 30 yards out. Tries to get room to swing his stick. It isn't too easy to find. With Sean Foley thundering in, getting the ball out. Not a very long clearance. Mick Brennan's got it. Oh, a lovely ball across into the corner. Pat Hartigan's got it. And Pat thundering his way out. The referee blows his whistle and awards a free out to Limerick for bringing Pat Hartigan down. You could almost feel the ground tremble. 15 minutes left in the game. And it's Tom Ryan with the ball for Limerick. He can't quite get it, get it away. He's penalized for holding there. And just who has gone off the Limerick team? It is Bernie Hartigan, I believe, who's gone off. It is Bernie who's gone off. And Eamon Cregan grabbing the ball from that free and putting them with attacking again. Up to Joe McKenna. Joe, 40 yards out, 30 yards out. Slow, hard, hopping ball. And Oldskin scooping it out under pressure. Very wisely scooping it out because the backs were trying to keep the forwards out and not altogether succeeding on that occasion. And he scooped it out at the expense of a 70. There he is, wiping the Burnley to... Give him a better grip as the ball, no doubt, will be dropping his way. Rosam being given now to the taker of the 70, Richie Bennett. And Pat Henderson, what a great game Pat is playing. Joe McKenna. And the ball is just wide. And the score remains 20 points to 16. And 32 minutes gone in the second half, about eight minutes left in the game, four points between them with Limerick the leaders. 117 to 113. Tom Ryan. This is Matthew Dowling. And that's Ned Ray and Van Larkin. That was. Out to Eamon Grimes, and it's over the board. Another point for Limerick. Eamon Grimes. One of the really telling parts of the Limerick play is the way they can send the ball about five or ten yards and know 99 times out of 100 that it's going to a Limerick man rather than belting it and God directed. 21 points to 16. Limerick leading by five points. Billy Hart. Cross done, in towards the goal, Patellini is in there after it, but the ball got out to Phil Bennis. Phil Bennis, up now, when it comes to Frankie Nolan, who's come out into the half-forward line with Nemo Donahoe, top of the right. Still Frankie Nolan, being chased by Pat Lawler. And this is Massey Dowling on the 14, a shot, and it's saved by Noel Skeen. A great save and a quick recovery, too, to add to the clearance. Out he comes. 
to Limerick. He's on his own 50. He's on his own 70. And he advanced on 70. He's on the Limerick 70. He takes a shot from way out the field. And he's the goalkeeper. John Foley. Goldstein trying to get back to the goal. There's nobody in it at the moment. You needn't worry. Pat Lawler has everything under control. Not so much control in the centre of the field from Kilkenny as Richie Bennett sends it high and over the bar. Richie Bennett from out in the centre of the field. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful hurler. His tenth point of the game. Limerick, one goal and 19. Kilkenny, one goal and 13. And six minutes left in the game. Six points, six minutes. Brian Cody. Down by Tom Lyon. Luke Crotty. Back to Kieran Purcell. And Pat Hartigan comes out. And Pat Hartigan playing with the coolness of confidence at the moment. Getting it up to Mussy Dowling. Mussy, likewise, being bottled up by Van Larkin. Getting his shot in and getting it over the bar. Five minutes now and seven points. Mussy Dowling, the scorer. His only point of the game so far. And Kilkenny in real trouble now. 120 to 113. Here comes Eamon Grimes for Limerick. This is Joe McKenna. Out to Mossy Dowling. I think Van Larkin thought he had the ball there that Mossy had. Nobody had it. It's on the ground. Pat Henderson back again, covering up once again. Jim Lynch is going off the Kilkenny team. But Sean Foley is attacking for Limerick. Noel Skeen out the field. John Kinsella is on the team for Kilkenny. Frankie Nolan's shot is high and Frankie Nolan's shot is good. It's over the bar. The last four scores now of this game for Limerick to lead by 24 points to 16, one goal and 21 to one goal and 13 and the stopwatch says four minutes left in the game the years of waiting have they all been worth it for Limerick who at this moment are eight points ahead with four minutes left in the game and what's more they're attacking Joe McKenna down in the centre of the field. Ball 70 yards out now from the Kilkenny goal. Kieran Purcell working his way up along the left. Gets it up to John Kinsella. Kinsella low. Puck blocked down. Eamon Cregan. Jim O'Brien. John Kinsella. Pat Hartigan. Kieran Purcell but nothing will go right for Kieran but everything goes right for Richie Venice and here comes Eamon Grimes Eamon Grimes passing the ball to a Bernie Hartigan who came running across the field as if he was going to replace somebody but he's not on the team the shot is taken there by Nemo Donahue and it's gone wide Bernie Hartigan, who went off a few moments ago, came on as if he was going to come on as a substitute for Joe McKenna, but uh, it wasn't necessary, and uh, while a pass came towards Bernie, he wasn't really in the game. And here's Sean Foley. Still. And Van Larkin, gone back now to... Oh, a lovely duck, whether it was intentional or not, it was still, it still looked well. Well, up to, up to the time he bounced back up off the ground, it did anyway. A free out for uh, Kilkenny, two minutes left in the game. Limerick, one goal and 21 points. Kilkenny, one goal and 13. Liam O'Brien being attended to on the far side of the field. The Limerick followers getting ready to invade the ground. 1940, that was the last time. It's a long time ago. 
and I think that Croke Park will see scenes of jubilation that have seldom been seen before after a hurling final in approximately one and a half minutes. Eight points between them. And not even the might of Kilkenny can turn this one around now, I think. No, it can't. Not with Pat Hartigan in such grabbing, clearing form. Lima Deno back into Eamon Grimes. Eamon Grimes way up the field. And it's gone wild. All the people... But down through the years, Mick Neville from Kilfinney, who saw his first All-Ireland back in 1910 for Limerick and played in 23. He misses today, but I'm sure he, like many other Limerick men, is a happy, happy man right now. Liam O'Brien going through. We're coming up to the last half minute of the game. Liam O'Brien is shot in towards the goal. Staying made in there, Jim O'Brien out. Eamon Cregan, as it was at the beginning, is now Eamon Cregan clearing out into the centre of the field as he did in the first few minutes to Eamon Grimes on a rampant Limerick now. In it goes, cleared out by Ned Ray, not cleared out but belted over to the far side where Musty Dowling does some kind of a little sidestep that doesn't work with Van Larkin and tough, hard Van up the field. They may be trailing but by heavens, they've got heart. Way up the field, they've got Hart is right. Way up the field comes the ball. We're near the final whistle. And it's Pat Hartigan out the field. Ball comes in from Liam O'Brien over the bar for a point. And look at the crowd lining behind the Limerick goal. That makes the score now to 24 points to 17. One goal and 21 points for Limerick. 114 and Limerick are the champions. And just look. Just look at it. Well, after a wait since 1940, we have Limerick, the All-Ireland champions, the worthy All-Ireland champions, after a truly memorable game. The day was atrocious. It's pouring rain still. But just look in in the centre of the field where everybody seems to have gathered. Every Limerick player being carried shoulder high. And I think if Limerick men had an extra pair of shoulders, they'd put Richie Bennis up there on top and just in under him, they'd put Eamon Cregan. And not far away, they'd put Ned Ray. And, ah, oh, look, you could go through the whole lot of them. Sean Foley, Eamon Grimes, the whole lot of them. 